Hey guys, if you saw my previous video, um, the Ram is going bye bye soon. Got a new truck on order. Uh, so it's basically a rental now. So I figured I'd take out the whole Apollo and beat the crap out of it and see what it can really do. We've had a lot of rain out there. Um, it's been really busy, so it's very rutted up. And I made a full lap around the property, all the way to North Beach, South Beach, and then back by the Orange Groves, up the power lines. Um, had to avoid some bad spots, but I never got stuck. And I also towed back a, um, an 850 Polaris uh, with a locked up rear diff on the way back. So pretty impressive for uh, a school bus that's this heavy. Um, yeah, I picked my lines well and have a perfect application of speed and power. But with the rear locker and the uh, air ride suspension cranked up, actually pretty capable on stock tires. This is just the dirt road. Of course, this asshole's in two-wheel drive because why would you try to, you know, not dig a rut for the next guy? All right, so it's very swampy looking out here. We're gonna go ahead and put it in four-wheel low. And while we're at it, lock the back diff. Four-wheel drive shift in progress. All right, that annoying binging noise tells you you're in four low. Now we've got massive torque. It's pretty rutted up. I almost put 35s on the truck earlier this week. Kind of wishing I would have done that now, but the ones I really wanted wouldn't be in stock until late this weekend. Oh, someone's driven into the barbed wire. Genius, pulled it into the trail. All right, here we go. Speed and power. Oh, it's super soft. Jeez. God. Really cross rutted here. Crab walking down it sideways. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Not too bad. There's big Sandy. Probably not as bad as it usually is because of uh, all the rain, but I think we're gonna go ahead and avoid that. All right, I got around the stuck people back at Main Trail. That's them down there. Um, they got a Land Cruiser with them though, so they'll get out eventually. Uh, but it is pretty tricky to get just from where I'm at here over to Logging Road, so it's gonna be some- All right, the Ram's doing pretty good. I got my AC seat on to prevent swamp ass, and I got this heated seat on to keep my delicious public chicken tender sub nice and warm. So that's a nice feature to have in an off-road vehicle. Um, made it down main trail a good ways and then it looked really soppy and there was a bunch of people stuck in front of me. So we took this little 45 off over to the power lines. This power line's right there. So basically paralleling the power lines. And I try to cut back over to main trail um, after I get around the people that were stuck. But uh, it's definitely wet out here for a change. That's very nice. Rolling good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm only back from Holopal and I figured I'd try to do some hyper miling. So I got the cruise control set at 40, and you're getting somewhere between 25 miles, or about around 25 miles per gallon average. Um, but I noticed something interesting. If I start going downhill a little bit, 
the eco light will kick on, which I think in this truck turns off four cylinders and it goes up to like 35 miles per gallon. So if there's a way I could make this truck stay in eco, I could get some crazy good gas mileage. So now we're at 30, see eco kicked on? 36, 37. So then eco kicks off and it drops back down. All right, so playing with this some more, 40 miles an hour is just too slow. Should have known that obviously for eco mode to kick in, but between 50 and 60, it'll usually stay in eco. And you see right now I'm getting 23 current, uh, 25 current. And you see the where it says current right there. And then the average is still having to climb up. But I think if you just drove this truck just slow enough to keep it in eco mode, you'd probably have a two or three mile per gallon increase. So if you're the type of person who bought this truck and can't afford to put gas in it, which thanks to Biden bucks and current gas prices, that's most of us, no. Um, maybe just drive a little slower. I don't know. Unfortunately, if you drove this slow on the turnpike, you'd get run over.